SHB 41 family, it is the end of an era for me. After 25 years, I am leaving the anchor desk here and moving to full-time community relationships director for the television station. So this week, I get to do whatever I want to do and have whoever I want to have on the air. And look at this picture that I dug up. I had to dust it off and... Wow, yeah, man. What? This is long, long ago. Long time when ago. When I came to Kansas City in 1997, I was weekend anchor, and this was our weekend team, Keith King. I think this was your last day this, on the air. Yes. This so was, talk about a flashback. Correct. That's, that's pretty crazy. And then I want to show you around the, 2008. We're going to talk all about it here. I got one more little tiny thing I want to show you. The, the, okay. So look at this. Long, long ago. Remember this? There's Gary. Oh and my who goodness. is that? Who is that woman there? Elizabeth. Elizabeth Alex. Alex. And guess they're all here. <laughs> Gary Lezak. Elizabeth. Look, they're just Jack they're just Harris. Is by their <laughs> video. <laughs> Gary, Elizabeth, and Keith. You all are part of my history. Thank you for coming. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. My gosh. Thank you for having us. us. Wow. It's an end of an era for us, too. Oh I think. my gosh. Yeah. So this, this, I love you all. This is all about you. We're going to tell you the oh. story. You know, what's yeah. amazing <laughs> is Cynthia and I yes. have been working together since 1986. That's wow. right. Before. Kansas City. Yeah. We Oklahoma were in City. Oklahoma City for years together. Yeah, yeah. We were doing weather there and I was a reporter. Yeah. Moved up to Weekend Anchor. Right. And uh, and I remember when I came to Kansas City and interviewed, you took me out to dinner at Houston's. Right. On the plaza, which is not even I know, one of our favorite restaurants. <laughs> and then you asked, is Kansas City a great place? And I said, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, this is. That is from Oklahoma City. Yeah, we were on the same basketball team. It was a benefit basketball mm -hmm. tournament. And you can see uh, which, some other people. People so you, you can see me on the back row to the left. That's Gary. Look at you. You look oh amazing. My you look the same. the same. You think? Yes. 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 <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, in the old days, wow. I do remember one of my yeah. memories, and this is just a funny personal one, is I don't know what possessed me to think that I needed to go down to uh, the Jones store closing downtown. Uh huh. I convinced Cynthia to come with yes. me. It was hours. Oh. We were there with a throngs of people because we I were. think I needed a lamp or yes. something. Yeah. And Cynthia, you just, we just powered through that <laughs> we day. Did. We went to my house like exhausted. We know? were because waiting in line was the thing because yeah. everybody was trying to buy something. Today I'd say, know? let's just go to lunch, Cynthia. I Forget the sale. <laughs> but I mean, we have remained friends, Keith. I mean, I mean, we're still connected. I appreciate you so much. What are you doing now? How are you? Oh, I'm, well, I'm doing great. Thank you very <laughs> Very much. Uh, life outside of TV has been uh, uh, treating me very well, I will tell you that. Um, and uh, right now I am the external communications director for University Health and I actually need to thank you because I don't know if you know this, but around the time when I first found out about this opportunity, mm -hmm. I applied for it and then one of my current colleagues reached out to you and you apparently said some very flattering things. <laughs> I got the job, so oh. I think I oh. owe you some money for that. <laughs> but, I, but I wanted to mention it because oh. it really does uh, say a lot about yeah. who you yeah. are and how you are so willing to go above and beyond your yeah. friends and your family and, and all of the young women that you, you helped awesome through awesome, awesome yeah. ambitions. Oh. So it's oh. just your impact is, is, mm. is huge. Well, well I think in the, the health on the health side, you work at University Health. I work at Kansas City University, you know, a, a health sciences university with a medical school. And I think during COVID, during the lockdown, Cynthia wanted to do a story about how the medical students were learning. And we had just happened to have a bunch of new technology mm -hmm. coming on the air and I lined up the dean a white man and Cynthia said hey can we get some diversity do you have students of color who, who might want to be participating in this and it wasn't like I would not have done it but I just didn't think of it mm -hmm. and yeah. we found um, easily a wonderful young man named Brandon who has since done many more interviews after that one wow. with you oh, and good. I think what you did was you know, inspire all of us to, to think about diversity and telling stories in a way that brings all of us into the picture and not just you know, one person or one, one who you, the usual cast. You sure, know? Sure. I, yeah. I've, 
And now every time I pitch a story to news media or place someone or ask someone, I think, how can we showcase diversity? Because yeah. it's good for all of us. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's a legacy you leave. Oh, and I'm sure I'm not the only good. one you mentioned that to oh, when you were asking wonderful. for interviews. Yeah, and not only that, you know, her new role here, she is blossoming and helping us <laughs> here at KCSB so much. I mean, we've got, you know, I've been involved with a couple events, and she makes sure, and you know uh, how in the past, we, she makes sure that our station is all over it and we get recognized for us being in the community. Does That's she all. make you go to your events? Yes. Does she make sure you're <laughs> on time? She texted all of us and my husband to make oh, sure I, I got text. here on time. No, no, I got the text 45 I, minutes ago. Where are you? I got the text too. Oh yes. my gosh. So Gary, you know, the connection between us long, long ago, but also the cancer connection. Right. And right. that's what, uh, that just touches my heart so much. Yeah. Because when I came here, I did the story about you going through cancer. You were still in the hospital. You explained uh -huh. to me what a port is. Yeah. Well, of course, now I'm, you know, still dealing yeah. with now metastatic breast cancer. So, of course, I've, through the years, learned what all of that is. But you right. gave me peace when I went into that battle and, and encouragement. Right, and you were there for me first. And so, obviously, when you went through your experiences, I was hopefully there for you as you well. Were. You were. But uh, you're, you're yeah. doing, how, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Yes, I'm on a clinical trial. Um, and so I've just had scans. I'm going to get a uh, CAT scan today. I had an MRI Friday. And so we're going to find out uh, how the, the new drugs are doing. But there's other drugs after that. So, you know, we're, we're, I'm still very hopeful. I'm very encouraged. I'm just kind of standing there. You know, my husband, Ed, is just really strong in support with me. And great team of docs over at, you know, KU Cancer well, Center. Well, you know, so. as we've all been touched by cancer, and mm -hmm. as you guys know, you two were my, all three of you were my rocks when my husband died of cancer while I was working here. Yeah. And I, I think about you, Cynthia, I just wanted you to know this. Every night, um, I look at a star. And I say a prayer for you. Oh. And I say a prayer for lots of people wow. with cancer, but you are on that list every night. And as long as there are stars out, but I say a prayer even if there is yeah. a star. But yeah. you have done so much, I think, mm -hmm. to uplift uh, others with cancer, especially women with breast cancer. And that's another, mm -hmm. I don't even think she mm -hmm. realizes all she's done. <laughs> no, you know? I don't think so either. Yeah, it's amazing. Well, I don't know that you all realize how much you mean to me. Yes, you're part of my history, but you're part of my present. They've never disappeared. They didn't, you know, leave the station and bye bye You know, they're still doing amazing things themselves in community, helping others, which I love and resonate with. And I appreciate you, Gary. You're still here, still on the yeah. air. Yeah. You know, keeping the presence here for us. And we're behind you. We love you. We support you. And I just wanted to, you know, I just wanted to have them on TV. And I, you know, <laughs> because I want people to know who you are and how you are. And they care. And they remember you, too. So y'all write them. Say something to them. Send them a, send me a text or and email or something. Week. And I'll get it to you guys. So, yeah. yes. Your last week. How again, you last week, I'm going to be community relationships director, you know, working with different, you know, organizations, you know, nonprofits. You know, groups, medical schools, maybe medical schools, health systems. <laughs> yeah. There you go. <laughs> can I can I also uh, say too, I, kind of thinking back over our history and how how we weren't just colleagues. We were very we have been very good friends. I remember when you first met your husband oh. Ed, and I think <laughs> we were together that night. I was night. responsible for her meeting her husband <laughs> Ed. Just want to make sure that still that is it's true, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yes. So yeah, we met. Uh, we there was the Gaylit Union Station, which the yes. station was a sponsor, and you were. We were there that night. Yes. That's not exactly the case. Well, <laughs> but, more to the story. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to share more of that when Ed. I was just gave tickets. That's all. You needed a oh, date right. then. You, you got the, the tickets. tickets. You said I got two tickets. And <laughs> okay. And you said I got to get a date. Amazing. <laughs> and then she found out. So, wow. so continue. Kevin I interrupted. Oh, no, 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 sorry. That's right. On the air, I want to challenge people there in the audience because I always want you to have something positive to do, a takeaway. So if you have some friends that mean a lot to you, like these three, give them a call, say hello, send them an email, a text, Aww. and let them know how much that you love them and think about them, because I do. Aww. And thank you so much for being here to celebrate my era. We'll be right back. No tears. <laughs>